Um, so for today's video, all you're going to need is some sterilising fluid. Um, you can see I've got a few brands here. I've got Dr. Johnson's sterilising fluid, which comes in a bottle, so obviously it's liquid. I've got Milton's sterilising tablets, which I think most people will have heard of. And a brand, a brand sorry, that I got in Home Bargains that are incredibly cheap. The sterilising fluid in the bottle is also quite cheap and again Milton isn't that expensive. So all of these products are sort of under a fibre and the sterilising tablets at the front and the bottle are probably under £2. Okay so anyone who keeps their guinea pigs or rabbits or other things like ferrets and things outside will know that sometimes you can get some green on your water bottles. What happens is um, if the water is too warm or there's direct sunlight hitting the water bottle, it causes the growth of algae. Um, so you can either put this in a darker area, away from sunlight, or you just clean them every couple of days. So I've purposely left this bottle for a few days, not in the guinea pig's cage, so it'll grow some algae for the purpose of this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is empty out all the water that's in the bottle. It'll be warm, it'll have algae in it, and but you do know that none of this is going to harm your guinea pigs. It basically is kind of, um, I don't know, algae, a bacteria or something like that. But it's not good for them and it could give them stomach upsets in the long run. The spout here has also gone a bit green on the inside, which is also algae. This is from the guinea pigs. Um, eating grass and they've pushed it up through the spout. You want to clean your spout every, um, at least every week but every couple of days as you can see this one was left in direct sunlight so it got quite green and yucky. Okay in order to clean this all you need to do is turn on the tap, let the water run through it and then take a cotton bud, get it a bit wet and clean up the spout with your water, with your cotton bud, do the same. You can see that's got a lovely green colour so don't use that again in the spout, use the other end of the cotton swab or the q-tip, whatever you want to call it. Keep giving it a wipe round to get the most of the stuff off. Squeeze down into the nozzle as well because it's going to be green and that, that'll do. You don't have to give it a good clean because we're going to soak it. If the water bottle was really bad and there was a lot of green on it, I would recommend also cleaning it with the... Um, with a brush. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, again, very simple, fill up your basin with some warm or cold water, it's up to yourself. I'm personally just using cold water. Okay, so you want to fill the basin so it's nice and deep so that you can fully submerge um, your bottle into the water. So the next step is to add your sterilizing fluid. Okay, so I'm actually just going to be using this one because I find it quite a good brand. And um, this could stay in your clothes because it does have a form of bleach in it. Well, and all you do is take the tablet, pop it in the water. It's effervescent, so it just disperses into the water. And what I was saying is basically these are all safe for babies and anything that is safe for babies is also safe for your guinea pigs. And you can see here on this box, which is the Milton one. Oh dear. There we go. Um, it tells you how to actually clean it. It says wash bottle, teats, breastfeeding equipment in the warm soapy water. This is obviously for babies so you could also do that if you wanted to and then um, all you have to do is put it in the water for 15 minutes. Obviously these are not baby bottles. Um, 15 minutes may not be long enough especially if you've got a lot of algae on your um, water bottle. So I, sometimes I would leave them overnight, it depends how dirty your bottle is but you could just leave it for a few hours and it should be good to go. Okay, so all that's left to do is put your bottle in the water, so I would recommend um, filling it with the water so it actually has the water inside it. The easiest method to do, which I'm sure you all know, is squeeze the bottle so it's full of air, pop it in the water, and then it'll fill. You also might want to take one of the tablets that hasn't finished effervescing, here's a little bit, and actually pop it inside the bottle so the sterilising is going in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend leaving the spout in the water because although it is stainless steel it could get rust on it and you don't always see if there's rust spots on the inside. So all that I would do is get clean cotton, put the um, spout in the water, cotton bod in the water and then clean it again with 
the cotton swab. Okay, so once you've done that with the spout, you don't want to, any sterilising fluid to be left on it because it doesn't taste very nice. It tastes a little bit like um, swimming pool water. Um, so give that a nice rinse, rinse the spout. If you've got one of the spouts that comes off, take the little um, silver balls from inside it and clean it. And as you can see, um, there's no green algae left in the spout and it's looking kind of shiny. Okay, so here we go. I left my bottle in the water overnight. You can see there's um, all the little kind of dirty bits in the water and you can see that the bottle is very, very clean looking. Okay, so the last thing that you want to do is empty away the dirty water and you want to rinse out your bottle. So fill it up with water a few times, give it a shake, 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 shake. Ooh and empty the water out and this is just so that it doesn't taste of the sterilising fluid because like I said um, it does taste a little bit like um, swimming pool water it's the sort of bleachy chlorine taste so you can see that the bottle is very very clean and this is definitely one of the easiest methods you can see there's no algae left at all on the bottle um, this can be as quick or as long as you want it to if you use um, one of these brushes you could just soak it like the bottle says for 15 minutes brush in give it a brush round and that would probably clean it a lot quicker I just like to leave it overnight so that I know that all the bacteria has come off especially if there's algae on the bo bottle you want to make sure that there are no nasties left and the kind of bleach in the sterilizing tablets will clean that off um, I don't want anyone to be worried by the word bleach sterilizing tablets are a fast way to sterilise water and they're hygienic and safe for your baby and your home. Um, the kind of rule of thumb that I go by, if it's safe for a baby, if a baby can lick it and put it in their mouth, then it's most certainly safe for your small pet. So I hope you found that helpful and um, <laughs> I don't know what my hand's doing here. I was going to say I hope you found that helpful and um, if you didn't um, use sterilising tablets I do recommend that you try them, they are quite cheap. Again be careful um, with them near your clothes because they can stain them. So. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.